Manga is a Japanese word for comics and print cartoons. Outside of Japan, it usually refers specifically to Japanese comics. Literally translated, manga means random or whimsical pictures. Manga is not to be confused with anime, which is Japanese for animation. My name is Michael Angelo Barreto, and today we're going to show you how to draw a manga character. Hi, I'm Darlene. I'm <laughs> Or, you know, having a job where I draw a manga. Draw a circle. Okay, tip. You, you draw the circle, but don't draw it like too hard or anything, because you might want to erase something and you will have to erase it later on. You draw a line in the middle and then it's inside of the face. And I know here so the eyes can be balanced. Once again, not too hard because you're gonna erase it later. And then we draw the ears and the neck. Just in case, if you're gonna draw a boy, you're gonna wanna make it thicker. And if you're gonna draw a girl, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna make it thinner. Once again, if it's a boy, it's supposed to have more of a square shape. If it's a girl, you're gonna wanna make it you know, like, like this for the hips. Curve lines. Curve lines. Draw the lower half of the torso. Draw the thighs and the arms. Make sure everything is even. We finish the arms. Remember, they have to be you know, in the same size here, the same length. Same thing with the legs. Okay, the lower half of the legs, if it's a boy, they gotta be like thicker or at least, you know, if it's a girl's, they have their thinner too. And then we draw the hands. If it's a girl's hands, they're smaller. If they're a boy's hands, they should be a little bigger. Remember, the fingers have like, like, like sausage shape. Okay, the mannequin is done. We have to do the face, hair, and clothes. So, in the face, eyes. The eyes start like with the line here, and the top and the bottom here. See, this is what it's for. The the, the lines here were made were made so the eyes were balanced. Because you, know, you won't want like an eye here and an eye over here, because that has happened. Finish drawing the eyes. 
and the eyebrows. And that's when we draw the nose, which, <clears throat> which in this case will be a line. It can also be a dot, or sometimes they don't have a nose. No, you can. I have seen that in the mouth, which is also a line. This is the finished mannequin. Now, if you want to make it a girl, you know, you can just like add, you know, like the girl details like the hair and clothes or the modifications that I said earlier. You know, giving the body. And if you want to make it a boy, the same thing, but, you know, giving him boy hair and boy clothes. Or the end, just beating it like it is. Although, this one is basically just like a genderless mannequin, so I can fix it however I want, and either way, it'll make sense. The most important step of all, and the first step, is of course to have patience and practice a lot because you won't get it perfect right away and well, without patience you won't really get anywhere. <laughs>